Hi all and welcome to another week of the Truth, Honour and Integrity Show. I hope I, uh, my voice lasts out. I'm feeling a bit under weather today, but uh, not too bad. Uh, but I'm just worried whether my voice is going to last. But we'll see how we go. Right, let's get into some uh, uh, links for the show. It's a fairly uh, packed show again. Um, there's going to be a special show. I was going to fit it in tonight, but um, there's certain things going on at the moment. Uh, there's lots of, that's going on that can't be spoken of, and I will be addressing that tonight um, because there is issues currently, a uh, lot of them. But probably um, Monday will be the best date for an extra show um, that will cover what is going on. So uh, look forward to that as well. Links for the live show. You can always listen live every Thursday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And it's Spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash 895-5881. You can also listen live on our website at uh, thinkdifferent.thepeoplesclub.org. We've had a a bit of a rejig on that site uh, the shielding only document is now up. All the others have been taken down the, for varying reasons. Um, and uh, the one that I did in the show uh, a couple of months ago is the only one up now. We will be adding uh, these, uh, another version of Centrin and Grounding uh, when someone has the time to do so. I have asked a couple of people, but everyone's busy at the moment uh there's lots of articles on there of self-empowerment the archives and if you're new to the show and want to get the whole gist of thi and what we're about then uh listen to the must listen to section and you get a full idea of what this group's all about we have the facebook page truth honor and integrity and the facebook social media alternative page on mewe.com and if you can't find us on there, it's also Truth, Honour and Integrity. And send an email, which is the same email for comments about the show or questions for the show. And apologies, I haven't been able to, if anyone sent questions today, I haven't had a chance to uh, collect them. And they'll go in another show. So the email is truth.honour.and.integrity at gmail.com. We have the uh, People's Club website link at the peoplesclub.org and my Patreon. And thanks for everyone who's donated. And don't forget uh, the donations come out um, on sat- from Saturday through Tuesday. So make sure you have uh, enough in your account. I don't want you go- all going overdrawn. So that's uh, patreon.com forward slash Tommy W forward slash memberships. And a, a quick heads up is because uh, the lads at OAM have now just set up a Patreon. So if you want to uh, donate to them, it's uh, patreon.com OAM radio. So go and check them out. Right, we have a much shortened news uh, tonight. Um, there is intel, um, there is op-ed pieces, but I've got a raft of Q&A um, that I need to get through. And so we'll probably um, do the news pieces and then uh, Q&A, and then we'll go into the intel and op-ed pieces, including a rerun, as many people have asked, of the two worlds theory. Right, a political reporter for The Guardian said uh, on Sunday she doesn't believe the White House reporters have agreed to guidelines set out by the White House for future press conferences following its controversial decision to revoke CNN uh, correspondent Jim Acosta's credentials. And according to her, I don't think anyone has agreed to the rules, but there's no reason for the White House to dictate the terms about how reporters do their job. And this is according to Sabrina Siddiqui, uh, said on Clinton News Network, Reli- Clinton News Network's Reliable Sources show, whatever that is, I don't watch it. Uh, 
Now, the White House last week dropped its bid to rescind Acosta's hard pass following a contentious press conference with the President and instead said it would enforce rules to for future press events that limit the number of follow-up questions a reporter can ask if they are recognised by President Trump or the communication staff as being problematic. Well, if you're going to misbehave and you're not going to listen to uh, the answers properly to the questions, then um, why should anyone tolerate people just being awkward and stupid? You know, we've had it ourselves in the Facebook group this week. People asking questions, they get given the answers, they don't like the answers, and when asked answers back or questions back, they refuse to answer. It's just crickets. And it's the same with these people. It's no different. You know, they just fire uh, any kind of rubbish that they like, and then when they don't get the response they want, um get rude and aggressive and start throwing all kinds of shit well you know Mr Trump's no different to anyone else if people are going to throw shit at you people are going to some people are going to throw it back and uh, why should uh, he tolerate these goons not one of them has got any integrity whatsoever you know they're not asking questions to uh, find out information or details they're, they're raking muck that's all they do they're not journalists just uh, drama queens I would ban them all personally uh, and yeah let them cry about oh amendment this and amendment that uh, if they they had any uh, knowledge or intelligence they'll realise we haven't even got any amendments coming off a uh, a rather heavy week of losses not only did the stock market loss although it has rebounded back uh, because of uh, interference in the right way um, Bitcoin fell another 10% and went down to 3,447 uh, as of Sunday and this is the cryptocurrency's lowest level since September 2017 over seven days, Bitcoin has now lost more than 35% of its value in the past week. And this marks the biggest drop since April 2013, when it fell more than 44%. Now, the recent downturn started this time last year. And for those of you with long memories, we did say it would collapse. Um, and it did. Uh, you know, it was roughly uh, 20,000 this time last year and uh, we said it would plunge and it's now down to 3,400 from 20,000 in one year and I suspect it's going to go even further down now of course we, we also predicted that oil would start falling and initially it didn't which raised some concerns um, but it's now gone down from $73 a barrel to 51 I suspect eventually we will reach the 25 to 29 uh, dollar a barrel period uh, sooner rather than later. More high level firings this time uh, the chairman of Mitsubishi Motors uh, after he was arrested last week over allegations that he underreported his income by millions of dollars. All right, for some they've got away with it for uh, so long, but not, uh, not, not. It's not the case anymore. You know, this is one of uh, probably hundreds now that have been arrested for this type of crime, another type of crime, and what you will find, as we've said in the past, they're they're going to use the term fraud and corruption for a very broad uh, range of criminality, and that uh, that generally are other crimes that have kept being kept away from the public but they'll use the uh, fraud and corruption one and um, this crime carries a possible 10-year prison sentence for Carlos uh, Gosen and uh, seven of the eight members of the board of Mitsubishi part of an industry alliance created by Gosen that uh, included Renault held an extraordinary meeting on Monday to decide his fate 
days after Nissan sacked them as uh, chairman and uh, Mr Golson who allegedly uh, also abused company assets for personal use uh, currently remains in detention in Tokyo uh, but has predictably denied the allegations according to the Japanese media General Motors another one you know, we keep being told the economy is going great and every week I'm uh, mentioning another big name company that's uh, collapsing, gone bankrupt, uh, getting rid of staff, you name it. Uh, it's all coming apart, but it's all coming apart uh, for them. And there's other issues behind this that are political, the general motives. That, that's as far as I'll say at the moment. And then it's also announced that it will halt production at five North American facilities and cut 14,700 jobs as it deals with slowing sedan sales and the impact of Donald Trump's tariffs. <laughs> they always blame Donald Trump. It's getting, he's getting a bit like Russia. For those of you who are new and don't know, or those of you who have forgotten, the tariffs have nothing to do with uh, America the country or China the country or America the government and China the government. These tariffs were um, almost like uh, slush funds or siphoning money out of both countries to the dragon groups. And that's what the transatlantic and trans-Pacific deals were involved in, including off-world trade, both of them. And both countries were being um, siphoned badly. So despite what the portal people tell you, uh, what they're telling you is a pile of crap. Sorry. And eventually things will settle down and both countries will uh, thrive and prosper. So more than 6,000 blue collar jobs will be hit by GM plans to stop production at a car plant in Canada and also two more in Ohio and Michigan. Uh, two transmission plants in the US will also be mothballed, putting the future of those plants in doubt. And the cuts, cuts will in, also include 15% of GM's 54,000 white collar workforce, which is about 8,100 uh, 8, people. And it also comes as 18,000 GM workers have been asked to accept voluntary redundancy. Now, the move will also significantly reduce car production in North America as GM moves to stop building some low-selling car models. Mexico, yet again, the media portrays it as clashes between the American and Mexican government. Uh, please ignore all that. Again, there's other interference. That's nothing to do with the government's. And, um, and everything to do with uh, private security groups. So Mexico plans to deport up to 500 people this week who tried to violently and illegally cross the border into America on Sunday. Uh, and this is according to the Interior Ministry. Dozens of people ran towards the border crossing between Tijuana and San Diego on Sunday where US border officers had to use tear gas to repel them. And amid heated rhetoric from Donald Trump and confusion over a reported deal to keep asylum seekers in Mexico, all traffic was halted for several hours on Sunday at the busy border crossing. Now the Custom and Border Protection said traffic in both directions was suspended at San Isidro port of entry before later allowing traffic through again. The migrants approaching the border were met with tear gas after a few tried to breach the fence separating the countries. The question remains as to why they were allowed to get that far after so many weeks of travel. They should have been turned back at the point of entry in Mexico in my opinion. But yet again, it's nothing to do with what I understand as uh, the government and everything to do with rogue agencies and private security mercenary type groups. 
um, you know, US agents fired the, uh, the tear gas according to the Associated Press at the scene and officials arrested 42 migrants which they're not uh, migrants that is on the American side of the border on Sunday and a border patrol official said claiming agents released tear gas only when attacked with rocks and other objects and the US official also answered criticism of the use of gas on groups which uh, the portal people highlighted was only on women and children which is also rubbish and um, all the staged photos came out um, and all the staged fake uh, uh, horror from the gullible public um, ensued after it it's all theatre it's all stage managed all the distraction now they uh, made also made claims that the uh, saying the migrants pushed women and children towards the front which again was not the case and the arrest came amid clashes with members of a migrant caravan attempting to enter the US and they fired back with tear gas Uh, 42 were arrested across the border and there was a further 39 arrests were reported on the Mexican side of the border. I suppose that will keep running until they, uh, both countries get together government-wise and uh, not only remove the rogue uh, terrorist people and the uh, children harvesting people but also the mercenaries and the agencies that are giving them the money. Tensions between Moscow and Kiev have escalated this week after, according to the media, Russia fired on and seized three Ukrainian vessels and their crews in the Kursk Strait, which separates Crimea from the Russian mainland. The Russian foreign ministry accused Kiev of coordinating with the US and the EU in a planned provocation aimed at further securing uh, anti-Moscow sanctions as the Ukraine president, Mr. Poroshenko, asked Parliament to impose martial law. The UN Security Council prepared to later uh, meet on Monday to discuss the incidents and NATO joined a chorus of Western demands for the release of the vessels and the sailors, several of whom were injured and calling for restraint. I'll have more on that later. A new number of international students enrolling at American universities and college has uh, gone down by almost 7% in the last year, according to uh, official data published this month. And it's the second year in a row that the number of new international enrollments in America has declined, which has now dented a market worth $42 uh, billion dollars. Uh, to the American economy last year. Now, the survey, an expert on trends in international students, says there is little doubt this downturn, and here we go again, is related to the Trump administration. <laughs> so now he's getting blamed for less students. You, know, you have to laugh, don't you, these people? It's gone from everything's Russia's fault to everything's Trump's fault, you know. If only they realised how far down the scale governments and presidents and prime ministers really are, they'd realise how stupid they sound. I beg his belief. He also says it's a combination of anti-immigration messages putting off applicants and the tightening of the student visa system which is the correct term of why it's gone down. You know, the visa application process was the single biggest uh, disincentive, but also frequently cited was the social and political environment in America. Uh, other issues that brought it up was the high cost of tuition was mentioned, but so too was feeling unwelcome in America and concerns about physical safety in America. 
Now, the biggest falls are from places such as India, South Korea, Mexico and Saudi Arabia. But there's also been a decline in numbers going to America from the UK, Germany and also France. So this is uh, quite a uh, downturn because uh, on a reversal of a pattern of growth that had been had lasted for decades. But I think what's really happening is people are finding out um, and as the so-called lesser countries and India in particular, their education is far superior, particularly for the higher caste people far superior to here and Britain for that matter you know this is why uh, they actually speak better English than, <laughs> than people born there including me um, they're taught to a, a very high standard and they have a number of programs there um, that are like vocational programs that could be of interest to America where people are learning topics in the space of a few months and not spending two, three and four years. It's a high, high yield uh, learning curve. I wish I could remember the name of the program and the guy. I read about it about five or six years ago. But that's why India and uh, parts of China have essentially taken over most of the markets because they're much more... Uh, cleverer than we are because of their education program and that's something we have to um, address and quickly we, we've got a shortage in vocational training apprenticeships and in all levels of uh, industry a shortage of nurses you know, a lot of nurses used to come from, uh, and it's the same in the UK, from Pakistan and India and also the Middle East and Africa. But they're finding they can earn more and live in better conditions in their own country now. That's how far we've gone down. And it has to be corrected. Talking of nurses... Any doctor or nurse employed at St. Louis Mercy Hospital will either be vaccinated against the flu or be terminated. That's uh, poor terminology, that. I think by terminated, they're meaning the employment and not, <laughs> not killing them. Although you, uh, you wouldn't know uh, with the way things are going on now. And they will not take a religious or personal exemption um, excuse anymore or allow them to wear a mask to avoid having the f vaccination. Some people said I'll wear a mask at work all day rather than have the vaccination. This particular hospital, St. Louis's, um, has decided no. Well, here's the solution. It's fairly simple is all staff walk out of the hospital and I mean all staff you know people go oh what, what, what about me job and this and that well most hospitals are vastly understaffed now anyway there's thousands tens of thousands of hospital jobs available no one's taking them anymore so they need to look after the staff they've already got. So if everyone walks out and tell us, you know, and stop allowing these uneducated, uneducated psychopaths to dictate your life, what can they do? What will or can they do when all the staff walk out? Nothing. Yes, they will use the guilt trip of the poor patients you are neglecting. But are, are they not neglecting the same patients by giving them vaccines and drugs? They have no idea whether it works, what it contains, or whether it's dangerous to the patients. So that argument they have is rendered mute. 
all staff walk out. Hospital closes. It has to. No staff. And soon, soon come crying for you all to come back. Only then you have the power. We're not having vaccinations. Period. Oh, to have the funds now and take over that hospital. This is what they are really frightened of. People power. And why they are desperate to block Kim releasing the funds to the people. As they know full well we will roll back their stupidity, their stupid bureaucracy and their core pirate ways. And very quickly as well. Boycott that hospital. You know, after all it is a for profit organisation. Washington, some 4,300 veterans affairs workers have been demoted, fired and or suspended since Donald Trump took office. Oh my. Vice President Mike Pence told a room of veterans caregivers on uh, this week and Pence said it proves the president has taken decisive action to restore accountability to veterans affairs. At which the, that particular statement drew a loud applause from the audience. Data from the VA shows that some 2,058 employees were removed, demoted or suspended in 2017 alone. And the majority of whom, uh, roughly 1,500, were removed permanently. Now in 2018 through the end of August... A further 2,299 were removed, demoted or suspended, of which the majority, 2,148, were removed. Suspensions were also part of that that lasted 14 days or more, and some of the removals in 2018 were done during a probationary period. Back to Russia again. Russian forces in Crimea demanded Monday evening that the crews of two U Ukrainian warships surrender within the hour or face an assault on their ships and the crew. And this was according to a Ukrainian official. Four Russian Navy ships were in position around the Ukrainian ships at Sevastopol's harbour as they awaited a response to the surrender ultimatum. Ukrainian Defence Forces also told the BBC Russia it had set a 3pm GMT deadline for Ukrainian soldiers in Crimea to surrender or be attacked across Crimea, but a Ukrainian spokesman could not confirm that order. Russian troops have encircled Ukrainian military bases throughout Crimea. Now, the standoff began over the weekend after Russian President Vladimir Putin was given approval by his parliament to send troops to Ukraine. Now, it may surprise you all, it may surprise some, or it may surprise all of you. What I've just read out is not a news piece from this week. What I've just read out was March the 3rd, 2014. Sound familiar? It's the four year loop time again. Many of you have now seen it. They're reporting old news again as new. The same clowns that were spouting BS and fear porn in the alt media are also coming out of the woodwork again with the same rubbish. How can it be? Almost a carbon copy story happens again live and, and there was an incident this week. Four years later. Why is it always four years? I don't think many people when I put out the four year loop a couple of years ago fully grasped it or believed it perhaps now you will because it's in our faces 
Right, we're going to, that's the end of the uh, news pieces for 2018 and also 2014. <laughs> we'll go into some Q&A. Uh, it's unbelievable. But I'm seeing more and more of it. Now, before I go into q and I've got to address something because it's becoming a bit of an issue. And it's nothing personal against any one in particular or any number of you. I'm asking all of you to consider what questions you're actually asking. Because I don't think uh, some of you realise the dangers that you put people in with your questions that also has the potential of ruining plans that have been made or worked on for quite some time you know I I know you all want to know the ins and outs of everything I get that I've been where you are before 2013 so I do get it but you have to consider the safety of the people involved over the need to know every little detail. Yet again this week, one of our team was poisoned with fentanyl. He did survive. And this is the fifth or sixth attempt at poisoning one of our group this year alone. This is war, in case you haven't noticed. And people really need to grasp that fact. I know the psyche tells you uh, war means planes flying overhead and dropping bombs and missiles flying in and guns going off and tanks. This is a completely different war. Now, you do get told on this show way more details than any other show on the internet. That is a fact. But you also have to be a lot more responsible with your questions than some of you are currently exhibiting. We've got agents scattered on both the Facebook and the MeWe pages. Yes, we know who you are. Long before you out yourself. Who are there currently causing disruption and distraction? But questions of wanting to know who is working with who plans on this and plans on that and how will you fix this and what are your plans to fix that they're not good questions revealing plans or operations during war is pure folly and people really need to get a grasp of that so if you ask for the plans to be made available and I answer Am I not telling the cabal our plans as well? Is X working with Y? Me saying yes, X works with Y is going to be of what benefit to the person who asked that question? What, what have you gained from knowing that answer? Have you considered what if the clans find out X does work with Y and they block those two working or kill one or kill both of them. Was the answer, that answer, really worth it? This is where I'm coming from. Do I like, like or approve of this or that alt media? Is not really helping either. The fact you ask the question means you don't trust them, not me. But you're asking me to validate it. But why do you need me to validate what you already suspect or already know? Plus, what happens if I turn around and say, those people are working with a faction. Some people get pissy over that. I will have another piece on faction alt media later. And all it does is adds another group of clowns to come onto the pages and play divide and conquer. We have enough clowns already coming from the Cosmic Voice group, the Neil Keenan group, the Tank, Orb Tellers, Lily Earthling, Wilcock and Corey groups coming in 
in the, on the pages and also in private and creating mayhem without adding more to it. I go through every question that is sent eventually, but sometimes I can't answer. But by me not answering or saying no comment, that can also provide info to those that pry on us. A non-answer can be just as telling as given the answer. So I'm asking you all to think more sensibly about what you are asking and what are the implica implications of me answering that question or not. Like I said, this is war. You have to recognise this and asking questions like that I've just stated is potentially putting me and many others at risk. I put out a lot of information and as many details as possible when it's safe to do so. But asking me publicly to go deeper is at times putting things at risk. What I can assure you, nothing ever gets held back, we're not cosmic voice, from you the listener, except where I exert responsibility for that information that puts people at risk or potentially ruins plans. It is that aspect only that gets held back until those plans, people or issues are deemed safe to do so. So there's some, a load of questions here. Some of them are part of what I've just addressed. And I'm asking those people to think more on what you're questioning. What value are you going to get? Is it putting people at risk? Is it putting plans at risk? Uh, when I was five, somehow I knew not everyone would make it to the next level of consciousness. 33 years later on my internal stuff, I'm facing this painful knowledge again. Is there anything you may know of how to help ease or reconcile the knowledge from my mind to ease the pain in my heart. Um, not really, you know. Everyone is saved in the end, some sooner than others. You know, um, nobody... There's a lot of people here, and the majority sadly, who are just not ready to advance to the next level. They're just not for a variety of reasons some of it their own some of it external interference but there's also sufficient numbers who who are they were the same numbers pretty much who were ready 65,000 years ago and were blocked by the loops this time it's going to be different you know I explained in the show was it three or four months ago in fact no it's longer it's the February show you're all going to die <laughs> that show <laughs> yeah. uh, of uh, my understanding how things will play, will play out I think it was the February 22nd show if you want to go and check it out so no one is not saved it's just that some will advance and the majority won't at this time. Uh, one year has passed since the disappearance of the Argentine sub. Uh, the families of those on board are still waiting for answers. Is there any intel or information? Um, I meant to ask about this today, but um, I've, we were sidetracked with them. Um, Sadly, more pressing matters. Um, maybe I can um, ask again uh, next week and see if I can get some details. Um, I would like to help. I've been seeking truth most of my life, always aware that something's dreadfully wrong. I've wondered if maybe the human race was 
destined to fail this test. Um, they thought so. They were wrong. Uh, as it appears to be too few that will fight, they're the ones that are not ready, is why. But that's not a good enough reason to quit for me. My life has been stolen from me because of actions of psycho clowns on only on a smaller, more personal level. I've also been stripped of my life as well, repeatedly. Nobody around me has any desire to participate in being part of the resistance of this madness we are faced with. Not even a few family members who are partially awake care one bit. Only accepts obsessed with sports, personal gain and carnality um, it, this is uh, a common theme um, for probably uh, all of us that listen to this show and um, as it stands now there's a lot of people in uh anxiety mode who have personal doubts of the self and the information garnered a worry and irrational fears that linger in the background but you don't know what for a general heaviness on the shoulders and throughout the torso relationship issues resurfacing and people acting and being strange or aggressive there's a general irritance and less tolerance of people not getting it or you perceive as playing games at the moment. Now these are all surfacing now and are sending many off balance. And it's the frequency echo of the chaos, not ours, theirs. And we have to learn to ride the waves. This is a down wave at the moment it won't last long now the 45 55 um, scale does work um, calm and balanced now all of you have developed these skills over the last few years uh, learn to trust in them and use them to maximum effect on what is uh, currently a negative vibe wave there's a lot of turmoil around the world. There's a lot of people who are losing it because they're learning the truth for the first time and are not handling it too well. We knew this was coming. And at first people go into reaction mode. What we don't need is our own members and our own listeners then having their own personal doubts about themselves and any information garners where they feel it's more comfortable to step back in the box you can't once out you can't go back in garner the strength and push forward members are there to support you uh, I believe many new members, me included, would appreciate learning more about the Universal Council, its history, its membership, disclosure, and something about how the peace treaty was negotiated on behalf of humanity. Um, and all the information on that, um, all the safe information anyway, that was allowed to be put out surrounding that has already been disclosed in many previous shows and it is available in the archive section on the Think Different site and also on the transcripts on my Patreon site. Now, when time is right and safe to do so, we will reveal more details, but perhaps listen to the November 15th show um, recently, and in particular a piece of what Kim and I are already involved in that has been released now there are other things that we are working on that, um, that haven't been released yet and then perhaps people will really understand the, the depth of what we already do you know uh, it takes a lot just doing this show without all the rest you know and it, our workload has increased and yes we would love to do special shows and more in-depth stuff but there's so much going on at the moment 
that are far more important than radio shows. If Kim can shut down servers, can she not turn off a space-based weather satellite? <laughs> um, I uh, possibly but then I'll ask why can't you do it I can hear people now going how can we do that use your abilities there are plenty of uh, people with abilities in our own group there's some in others so instead of asking uh, Kim and I to essentially run and do everything why not attempt to interfere with them yourself it's not a criticism it's just, it is a suggestion it's a fairly valid question but is it not again asking somebody else to do something for you now there has been interference with satellites we've reported it in these shows but why is it all, always one or two people who think I'll go and do that why doesn't everyone think that way we're no different to, you, to any of you lots of people have lots of abilities but they just get on with life and then ask others to go and fix it um, we have the capability of fixing it ourselves something to consider in light of Marduk's removal through the peace treaty would it not be equally prudent to negotiate the removal of those nefarious elements who continue to hold humanity and this government hostage with their sinister intentions criminal actions and plans um, not really because there's a free will element and as we've said many times in previous shows if it's a human versus human problem then humans have to deal with it there's many questions tonight people asking the UPU to fix this and, and this one to fix that and the council to do this and why can't we fix it why can't we fix that hospital that's uh, telling doctors and nurses that and the staff that they're going to get vaccinated when they don't want to do we need the UPU or the council to fix that no we have to take responsibility this is what this is all about us being responsible for ourselves us taking care of ourselves us defending ourselves and looking after each other so or well, you've heard what happened 16 and a half thousand years when we asked others to look after us for us it didn't didn't work well did it so a human versus human problem is a human problem the peace treaty is more uh, in effect where the the others the other species are not allowed to interfere with us anymore and subsequently we're not allowed to interfere in their world either but human to human problems they're ours to fix now there is some extenuating circumstances which was uh, put in last week's show of an address to the council because there is elements of um, psychopaths running off world programs which they don't realise uh, has already failed and doesn't exist anymore but they're still harvesting but the harvesting has nowhere to go so 
but we have to start working together and this is what largely what the trust is doing is getting people working together again have you heard anything about donald trump jr being indicted for false statements made to congress uh, no i haven't i've had time to follow up any of the theater known as politics this week <laughs> Has there been a time when there was only love, no fear? Um, the initial, as I understand it, I can't confirm it, but as I understand it, at the initial outset of this universe in particular, it was different. It was all light. It didn't perceive dark, so there was only love. And unfortunately, it got infected and invaded. And... Um, We've all seen the consequences here on this planet of what happens when the dark forces take over. But you, there has to be a, a balance in everything. Angels and demons. I believe it's one and the same being. Just about how you are perceived. Cabal think they're all angels. They think they're doing the right thing. Draco think they're all angels. We don't. So it's about perception. We think they're demons. But there needs to be a, a healthier balance of, uh, well, a drastic increase in love. Not just for your partner, but f for all people on this planet. This is why this planet is in turmoil, because of, of a lack of it. Everything is run by fear and greed, not love and need. Is there a way to get the president to reverse the Communications Act? Well, people can get a petition up and ask, uh, I imagine, in sufficient numbers. I don't uh, know the details of what the Communications Act is, so I can't really pass comment, more comments on that. Can you elaborate on the concept of the creation of the new earth? Uh, I understand that it exists on a separate frequency or timeline and then if we resonate with this frequency we will somehow experience it. Uh, do you believe that there will be some sort of an event which will trigger an emergence of this reality for those who are ready or will it simply be a gradual phasing in of this reality and phasing out of the old one? Well... <coughs> At this time, the new earth is um, progressing nicely, from what I know. Um, we're not ready for, the planet is not ready for humans yet, from what I understand. I think we have to um, focus more on fixing the old earth the current one before we um, drop a load of people to go and uh, ruin and misuse and abuse the new one we have to be um, a lot more spiritually aware and a lot more loving and caring on this planet before in my opinion anyway we have any migration there may be circumstances where people will migrate. Maybe um, Monday show will deliver more on that. Is there some kind of baseline frequency uh, at our Operation Woodpecker coming through an artificial lightning and electronics that assists in the perception of the veil? There is no more veil. It's gone. It's part of the magnetic field. Anything that creates a magnetic field is not really that good for us. And uh, scientists are working on ways of how to correct that. Um, as for artificial lighting, yes, a lot. I've heard a lot of them are not good. Um, but again once the old system goes down and there's more freedom of um, 
and the lack and the non-compete um, act, where only the giant corporations um, are allowed to uh, operate in business, then a lot of new devices will come forward that will negate some of the more damaging aspects that we've got currently. But the veil is already gone. Don't care who tells you otherwise, it's gone. Do you know of placing organizing our home or carrying it on our body is beneficial to us? Um, I don't know personally. Um, a lot of people say it does. Um, and if it if it works for you, fine. But make sure you clear before you use, before you set your own intention. This is the problem with a lot of crystals and these uh, trinkets in uh, the carrying um, or have the potential to carry dark energy, particularly the crystals, which then you absorb. But yes, a lot of people have said that organite works. And, uh, they'll know better than I. Uh, wait for time. A couple of more and then I've still got a load more to go. <laughs> uh, we'll have a music break then. Uh when our cells are replicating after inception, where one cell completely disappears and two identical cells appear in its place, is this action also taking place when the cells in our body are going through the cyclical process of renewing throughout our lifespan? I'm not too sure on that, but uh, the disappearing one um, goes to another plane. And then comes back in. Essentially, um, does that not tell you you are operating in two worlds? But I don't know what happens. I, I, I imagine uh, it's so. But I don't know the, the answer to the, to the second part. I moved to Southern California about a year ago. I've heard you and others say that LA and San Diego cities are under domes. Uh, last week I believe they became visible to me. Can you please explain more about these constructs? Who is responsible and what purpose do they serve? Um, I never asked, funny enough, who built them. I imagine it was something to do with the Draco, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. And it's to zone them off from certain conditions. And they can also use it as a frequency bouncer. And they can bounce it off the, uh, the bubble or the dome. So we can have a resonant effect that they choose. So they bounce a frequency and then it, uh, because it's uh, in was well, essentially a vacuum it's reverberating at a higher frequency they can also um, dictate weather where they don't don't get it now the only one two places that I know is confirmed is Toronto and Antarctica I don't know about the other ones Is there a way to develop a separate banking trust association to define the quantum system in this association and then ask banks to join? Hence, accepting a new model of transactions for the benefit of the people globally. Well, as it stands, we, we've tried many things, but eventually, as it stands, everything has to go through the banks until we come up with a system that the public will will accept and we can work around them so we don't will then have to go through banks 
because the minute you go into banks they're um, blocking everything anything to do with the people anyway uh, we have transferred funds and assets uh, for those who say that the Manor World Holding Trust only has digital assets now we have um, quite an extensive range of physical assets um, uh, but banks uh, the, or the cartel of banks and who runs them and who then decides if we place um, a transaction to say shitty bank and they ring the bank manager up recognise where it's coming from and tell that bank manager to not release those funds there's not a lot we can do as it stands currently we are working on it working on many things uh, and eventually we will come up with a system that works around them and they will collapse so they will, will then have to come to us to stay in business that's how it works or that's how it will work what do you know about Seiko and SES um, the government services people um, where essentially uh, and this happens in America and the UK and, and, and Anavon writes give it uh, credit where credit's due has kind of covered these far more extensively than I can about government services and these security groups like uh, G4S and Citadel essentially they run the government so there's like 19 government services and uh, the government collects the money bear in mind uh, the government only gets 20% this is America now 20% of all taxes collected the Rothschilds et al take the rest and um, so then the uh, American government is then uh, always going to run short and so then they have to borrow off the Federal Reserve and it's 10% for every dollar that applies to every other country I might add that uses dollars uh, when they purchase dollars it's 10% they're stripping every country and that, that uh, is also being worked on currently to stop that once and for all not stall it or block it Endy. and these government services people are all ran by the same groups of clowns and so it's pure folly blaming your governments that this is not working they haven't done this and they haven't done that because it's all being ran by these private groups what we're trying to do is build a platform for a real American government where the government actually runs the country for them by the people and not these private uh, mercenary type public security services groups and those are part of it I heard you mention that the Pope wants to work with you guys to set things straight with humanity do you trust him uh, anyone in a top position um, we the people shouldn't trust fully ever until sufficient actions and a time has gone by where they've earned your trust the same applies to Mr Trump if he was standing here now to say the same thing how can we the people trust a politician we shouldn't do they've, they've not served as well now Mr Trump does things over a period of time that is for and by the people and not for and by a faction then the public will trust him and, and should do but trust has to be earned the Pope himself has also found out a lot about life and how things really work over the past months his head's not um, <laughs> not exactly still at the moment his head's fairly spinning as most of the people in the top organisations 
they found out stuff they barely believed over the past 12 and 18 months and they've had a difficult time getting their head around it welcome to our world <laughs> Uh, the implication in your narrative is that Source is a physical entity who created the first human. That is not correct. I've never ever said for uh, Source or God, whatever you want to call it. Please don't call it the Lord, but that's I know, the reptilian king. Uh, Source is not a physical entity. It just is. It's energy. Essentially, that's all we all are. A frequency I've never said source is a physical entity uh, is there a difference between source and God technically no um, logistically yes because we've had a lot of gods in inverted commas um, who come to this planet representing uh, themselves as a god when they, actually they're not they're just uh, ordinary people with um, rather massively inflated egos and this has been what part of the problem here and because we have disconnected either by interference or by our own choice from our remembrance of source That it's easier to replace it with something similar but it's actually an illusion so the term God is um, not really a good one because we've had lots of them but none of them are the real entity I prefer source rather than God Can the 39 Earth dwelling races be revealed at this time? No. Can you please share more details of the 39 non human races that share this planet, their origin, and some details of their characteristics physically, culturally, and spiritually? Uh, many are those invisible positions of power, non human. Are many of those invisible positions of power non-human? Uh, not no more than that. Um, maybe one day, you know, uh, the ET side of things is put on a back burner. Now they're not interfering um, with us. We have to focus on what we're doing more than what they're doing. That, that wasn't the case before 2016 uh, since then it is and we really have to start focusing on how we fix our issues and drive this planet into a far better model of uh, love, care and compassion and sharing than it is currently maybe then uh, we will be better people to be able to go and meet these beings at the moment we, we can't even meet a person from a separate country without sneering or giving uh, nasty remarks or calling them uh, illegal or something else so if we, if we can't be nice to our own people our own kind How's it going to turn out meeting 39 others with a variety of uh, <laughs> shape, differing shapes and uh, free, frequent uh, variants of, um, I won't say ugly, but you know, as they don't think we're, we're particularly pleasing on the eye, but <laughs> some of them uh, are not exactly... Uh, pleasant to look but the many you know what people look at it's it's how uh, people react to each other you can overcome that uh, variance in how we look 
providing people connect in the right way. You know, how I said this uh, a while ago, you're walking down the streets, people say they all want to meet ETs. But if, uh, you know, a Draco tapped you on the shoulder and you turn around as an eight foot talking lizard, I don't think people are going to react too well. <laughs> They're just not. Uh, you know, everyone's thinking, oh, the little, lovely little tiny grey, and you can pat them on the head. Well, uh, no, there's a lot of beings who don't like being touched and take great offence at it. So we have to learn part of their culture, what we, you know, you can't bear hug them. And, you know, some of them think we have a rather unpleasant smell. So you have to learn cultures. Well, that comes over time. So. Final question before I go into a music break. Um... I don't know whether we should continue with more because I've got too much to cover. I may have to throw them in another show. Apologies. Maybe this will be uh, uh, a good one to go in with. In your show last week, um, which was probably the week before now, you mentioned we as humanity can achieve huge things once our PSI fields are connected all together. Can we, the people who are already conscious about this, already connect our PSI fields? If yes, how can we do this? Answer. Some of you already have. You've just not connected the dots. There's no handbook on this, manual, do this and do that. Like people ask me, how do you get to the mental planes? You develop the self. Service to others rather than service to self is a good start. Exhibiting more love than fear and anger is also a good start. But there's members in THI who have already connected the PSI field. And now I'm not telling you which ones. Not fair. Right, we'll have a musical break and I think I've had enough of questions now. Um, apologies to the ones who I didn't answer. I know that a lot of those were from previous weeks. But we have um, some intel coming up and uh, some rather interesting op pieces as well. Here's uh, a new song for you. It's called Warrior. Hi all and welcome back. We're going to go into some intel. Uh, apologies for the questions I haven't answered. They all stay on the page and eventually I will get round to some of them. Right. Uh, last week um, we made an attack on um, over 2,000 underground black budget base servers. Um some of them are like suitcase servers and um, because they were the latest um, group who were blocking transfers into the banks and out of them and it appears that incident uh, achieved more than we hoped for as um, those servers it appears was the eyes and ears to spy and listen to everyone not just us the Pentagon and the White House and Langley, etc., etc. And um, what the intel that came back is uh, suddenly for them, not only um, were they not um, being able to backdoor into banks, they went totally blind and couldn't see or track anyone or anything once they went down so this week uh, the deep state as it's known here tried to rectify this by sending rogue contractors inside the pentagon yes you heard that right to try and install a new system or try and restore parts of the original so much for the pentagon being safe and secure then um, 
to date it's not back online now the cabal the factions and the deep state have all gone into meltdown mode this week again um, even more than last week as their desperation attempts to keep or restore the old order or system repeatedly fails uh, and certain actions were taken which I can't reveal just yet uh, which then led them to issue nuclear threats to various countries and regions and also biological warfare threats were also issued all in a vain attempt to keep the illusion of control going I might add and no they won't be allowed to launch nuclear weapons period not now not in the future um, the reason for the meltdown essentially without revealing details is too many of them are just not following their orders anymore and many are also I'm pleased to report are refusing to bow to their threats also and their position will become much weaker once the next 72 hours passes with no incident or disruption more on that later this is uh, part news item but also part intel and the news part was um, part of the UK's theme for the IMF gathering recently the Chancellor uh, of the Exchequer in the UK is promoting all things fintech and Britain's world leading expertise and influence in finance <laughs> yeah, influence is not really the crack word more like thieving uh, to shape global views they've certainly done that towards new financial technology and the Chancellor expects the UK to lead global efforts to design a regulatory approach to crypto assets and the distributed ledger technology i.e. blockchain currently there is a crypto task force working in the UK that expects to publish a report on the UK's approach to digital assets before the end of the year and the Chancellor stated international cooperation has made our financial system safer simpler and fairer since 2008 no it hasn't you've been lied to um, he went on at home our banking reforms have protected people uh, no they're not your reforms that they were the trusts and given them more confidence that their money is safe the UK's world leading expertise means we are in unique position to shape the future approach to emerging technology like blockchain so that they benefit businesses people and the economy and this week I will be making sure British interests are represented at the very top of international finance that was the Chancellor Checker of the UK now two things come from this which is part of the intel this confirms our earlier this month intel where we told you that the IMF approached 134 countries to get them to switch uh, cancel their current currencies and switch to crypto secondly this also confirms they want and need cryptos because they have no assets and or little fiat wealth any longer this is a confirmation in and of itself people will say well you know how can you you haven't proved that they've got no money why are they doing this this tells you there and then because if they had plenty of money they weren't talking about cryptos then were they now it's all gone it's let's go into cryptos but as the chancellor said uh, international cooperation has made our financial system safer simpler and fairer no it hasn't that was all down to the trust and they those banks over there particularly in London and uh, particularly the ones that are using the 
blank servers for Citibank. Yes, we know. Um, I've had no option for the financial system to be fairer and transparent because it's under a new system. They've tried several attempts, which we've referenced many times in this show, the Babylon system, the Hercules system, Annabelle system, and Apex system, all to try and get the older, uh, which was not safer at all. It was certainly not simpler and certainly not fairer. So the Chancellor is literally talking out of his ass, period. And uh, perhaps he needs to listen to uh, one of our shows. So though that confirms A, our intel that the IMF are trying to force countries into switching to crypto and it also confirms they've got no money left. And this is their desperation attempt on, an, quite frankly, what is an extraordinary scale and a full on admittance they've lost almost complete control of the old financial system. And like a spoiled child who doesn't get their way, they pick up the ball and run off at it and start a new game with fresh air currencies and its open source blockchain tracking system. We don't need it. Essentially, it's another financial slavery system. Britain has run the financial slavery system for the last 500 years out of Babby London. And the reason they're going to crypto is because the people now control the real money and the real assets system. Oops. Yes, people will argue, well, you haven't got funds out of the people. Not yet. Eventually, they won't be able to stop us. But the fact that they're wanting to cancel all currencies now, when they've been talking about revaluing uh, currencies for the last 10, 20 years. Now, it's let's scrap all them currencies because we haven't got enough of them. And let's create fresh air currencies. Tells you right there. That's an admittance that the RV is never going to happen. Just that one statement. Because if they were going to revalue currencies, is what the RV is all about. Why are they telling 134 countries to scrap it? The system's gone. So I really do not want to hear about cryptos or blockchains, books the system and gets around like a cabal. It's all bollocks. All of it. I've been telling you that for the last five years. But clearly, they created it as a backup system. And sadly, yet again, so many fell for it. You know, if people just use common sense, that they're planning to do the RV again, you know, they're all being told they're getting paid over the weekend again. Well, if they're all getting paid on revalued currencies, why is the IMF telling 134 countries to scrap their currencies? What are you going to do, revalue cryptos? Just basic logic. You don't have to have a banking degree to understand that. All the old systems, be it IBM, Microsoft, Apple, Oracle, all contained backdoors in their software and hardware. And they're trying to run this new crypto off the same system. And the requirement going forward is to create a brand new platform and system with zero outside influence. With real assets, not fresh air tokens. Next Intel item. There's a massive shift um, going on inside the Vatican currently this month. A massive shift. And is expected to continue a more forward path. 
how infighting within the church has reached epidemic uh, proportions with many of the top people there now under a lockdown due to safety issues and threats. Now the reason for the infighting is the vast majority of people inside the Vatican have now decided to step away from the factions and the cabal and work towards a world peace with the manor holding trust in tow. The top people there are tired of waiting for their payouts via the RV, which as anyone with a single brain cell will now work out is not possibly happening anymore, from the Rothschilds and have taken the step to remove all connections to them. Now the Vatican, like many other top organisations, are now struggling to pay their staff and also their utilities. They're that short of money. The trust gave 250 million to the treasury last week because they had no money to pay their staff for the coming month and some of the government staff. There's nothing left and we got these uh, clown generals with badges on the shoulders sitting there counting the dinars waiting for the payout. Well, it, if you'd gone to the IMF meeting, you'd realise you're never going to get paid out. Because they're telling you now to scrap them currencies and go to crypto. So what are they going to do? Pay pay you in crypto for a few years and tell, tell you they're going to revalue and go 50 times to one. And you're going to be uh, gazillionaires again for an, another 10 years wasted. Get real. It's not happening. So the Vatican uh, want to move to a better position with regards to the people. Now the Pope for his part wants to prosecute all, and I mean all, of the pedophiles. And is fully aware now of all the issues that were surrounding the previous Pope and is also working to address those issues as well. The Pope is also working with all other religious leaders on declaring a peace treaty between all religions that can and will be enforced. And no, this is not a one world religion. You can trust me on that. As for the entities and demons below the Vatican, they are no longer permitted to interfere in this process. Next item, discussions, very light discussions I might add, are now taking place at the highest levels of the Roman Catholic Church and other churches on the potential, I'll repeat that again, on the potential of an eventual winding down of the experiment called religion. There's only one God, it's source. Fighting all these fake gods has not served us very well. And most of them are not even real. They're just uh, clowns with a uh, overinflated ego. Rod and all them goons. Um... Massive changes are expected over the coming years and certain disclosures mainly to the masses will tip many over the edge and often in times of pain or trauma many seek out the church for comfort and the risk at this point in time for people to completely lose it was considered too great a burden to bear for the general populace for the for it all to be disclosed in one go. Uh, this, like other disclosures in the past and for the future, will be a gradual phasing in and phasing out process. 
you will see a merging or a reconciliation attempts between all religions um, in the coming years, hopefully sooner. And apologies will be given. Immunity to crimes is being discussed, but no decisions has been made on that yet. Now, church leaders, like many other leaders, are now finding out that they've been lied to also. Now, to me, that doesn't and won't exonerate some of their more heinous be behaviours over the centuries. Either way, this is the beginning of the end of what was known as religion. There is no definitive date set yet, but I ex would expect, from my standpoint, it to happen this lifetime. Next item. The US government and the Treasury have been shown a um, live video of a vault that houses a portion of the physical assets held by the Manor World Holding Trust. It doesn't just include gold. There are many other minerals and also um, precious elements. And once both departments the US the American government and the Treasury have satisfied the trust they are, that they are capable of safeguarding the physical assets contained within the vaults they will be transferred to the relevant destinations for use as an asset base not debt base there have been some who have suggested that the um, the trust only holds digital assets. Wrong. It actually holds all the physical assets. Because all of it was pledged to the trust when it was owned by Marduk. He harvest, <coughs> harvested the whole lot. Voice is gone. <coughs> <coughs> Next intel item, uh, the Ukraine and Russia issue, which I've covered earlier, is largely all fakery. And it's all being played out by NATO, the IMF and the UN. They are intimidating countries to join the EU. That's what it's for. And there's two reasons for that. One, they can then claim under the EU for each nation to sign over their in-ground resources to the UN because the UN is broke. to trap. And also with the latest uh, ruling under the EU rules, um, which the countries had no say in the matter is, is... Uh, 2% of that country's GDP, countries in the EU, must go to NATO, who are also broke. And it's all under the guise that NATO will protect you. Yeah, right. NATO's not there to protect any single country whatsoever. Only to further the causes of the Rothschild family and steal the wealth of each nation. And it's time the people in the EU did something about it and told their governments we don't want NATO on our soil. Throw them out. They're not an official body. They're a private security army on behalf of the Rothschilds. Period. 2% of GDP to basically stifle your own country these people have nothing to offer they just loot and harvest now NATO the IMF and the UN are telling countries of Eastern Europe that Russia plans to invade their countries and they must join up with the EU to protect themselves Message to all Eastern European countries and the leaders. Ignore NATO, ignore the IMF and ignore the UN. These are all bankrupt entities. The IMF alone owes the trust 
189 trillion. Not million or billion, no, trillion. None of which they, uh, they can pay back. They have no power and only threats and lies. And they are trying to loot your countries. The same as they've looted every other country they've gone in. Many of those countries formerly under their control are now realising these groups are not in anyone's interest but themselves and their globalist agendas. So no, Russia is not going to attack you. It's all BS. All of it. And I'm asking all those countries, the Eastern European countries, to beware of false flag events happening in your respective countries in an attempt to blame Russia for that also. Throw them out. They're not valid. None of them. That's the intel for this week. Um, we're going to go into some op-ed pieces. Um, maybe I should play a song and clear me throat a bit. <laughs> uh, let's see how far we go. Let's get this one out the way and then I'll do a song. Uh, so last week we had um, Retard Friday, better known as Black Friday. <laughs> and uh, that's now come and gone. And people all queued up all night in frigid temperatures. Were fighting, pushing and dragging each other all over a few bargains they perceived they are getting for materialistic things but what people don't get is they are not getting bargains that day at all they're being ripped off every other day that's not Black Friday it's just simple logic that people forget because if these companies can sell a lot of those items for that price for that day why can't they sell it for the rest of the year by only one day now I know they tend to get rid of all the old stock because they're bringing out a new line for the people to buy that's no different than the last line it's just a bit more expensive and just empties your pocket more that's how it works but these sales are also an illusion I worked in a retail shop about 20, 30 years ago I think it was in the UK over Christmas one year and I was assigned the task of changing the prices and um, I changed the prices five times from the week before Christmas to the 2nd of January five times at which I got rather pissy with the manager uh, but that's me um now the first one, the week before Christmas, before the sale, I was asked to put the prices up around 15% and then lowered, lowered it a couple of days later as a sales price as 10% off, which meant the price was cheaper before the holiday sales. So say an item was $10.00. Plus 15% is now $11.50. Less 10% is $10.39. So items based on $10 were 39 cents dearer for every $10. But this is in the sale. This is what they do. I got thrown out of another of a furniture store during sales time for pointing out that the sofa that I, we were interested in buying was £150, which is about $190 dearer in the sale than the month before. And so I started, uh, when I pointed it out, um, the guy got a bit pissy with me, so I started telling all the customers that they were being ripped off. So uh, I got thrown out of the store. This is what they do. 
for the next holiday is bearing down on, on us Christmas and the death cycle imposed on us but we bought into continues people and parents feel the need to outspend their their circle and cycle and the cycle continues well we have to stop that cycle if you can't afford it stop it and don't play the guilt game well the kids will miss out it's a marketing trap designed to get you to spend more than you want maybe in this day and age the kids missing out will give them some much needed appreciation of life and the fact that the amount of money you spend on them equals how much you love them nope that's not how it works and that is what we need to correct that type of thinking people who spend more money love you more not really and the only way to end the cycle um, is to end the cycle and teach the children the values of life not life is valued by money take the example of Christmas cards vast amount of money wasted on items that most people can't afford and the reality is you barely speak to two thirds upwards of the people you send cards to from one Christmas to the next again just stop the cycle three four five dollars or more for each for each card with a message written on it that somebody else wrote they're not your words or message in the card they are marketing scripts people at Christmas get bonuses and some get forward pay for Christmas and then proceed to go to the shop and give it all back as the materialistic greed swallows it all up with clever marketing and competition between us let's just stop it it's only one day out of 365 why do so many put themselves under that level of stress for one day the Vatican announced four years ago December the 25th is not Jesus' birthday why all the stress of that day for something we have no idea now what we're actually celebrating then we have the biggest issue of Christmas holidays where all the stresses mainly financial build up and lead to family and friend arguments people turn to excessive drink and the cycle of abuse continues but the biggest issue is the the highest rate of divorce over any period of the year is during Christmas all because of a clever marketer's employee now that has lasting implications for the mum and the dad who get divorced but the greatest implications for the children was it all worth it for one day out of the year you buy and get what you need not what you greed let's have a song and uh, we'll be back with uh, more op-ed pieces uh, soon hi all welcome back uh, I did an intel piece on why as it stands American soldiers um, in uh, the bases dotted all over the world outside of America can't return and uh, it's due to heavy drug and chemical abuse of, of those soldiers plus the uh, mind control aspect issue now I've spoken to uh, a few people some in the MeWe uh, chat and uh, others outside of their group regarding this situation now and they're all saying the same thing 
the people they knew before they left for duty are all coming back not the same person now the reason is in the name they are soul dyers not soldiers essentially they've all died inside figurative, figuratively speaking and in some cases for real and quite frankly this is a national disgrace and needs to be rectified quickly so I came up with a solution and it is as follows we have many uh, military bases that are dotted all over America perhaps the um, fake destruction of um, Tyndale could be the first one given that was um, deliberately staged in my opinion um, we could uh, decommission and repurpose certain bases as we have too many of them uh, into a hospital centre for the returning troops now the problem people say well why can't we just go home because of the levels of drug abuse and uh, induced chemicals and the mind control look at the some of the veterans that are out in the public now they're not in a good condition they're, they're not unable to hold down a job they're losing their homes and they ended up homeless and on drugs so imagine thousands of them coming home at once that's what they're worried about so if we decommission some of these military bases and repurpose them into a hospital centre for the returning troops uh, and have staff versed in all aspects of drug and chemical abuse and also mind control abuse and PTSD issues which can all be treated in a safe enclosed environment uh, until the soldiers are ready to return to the public now some will say how can this be implemented or who pays for it well it can be implemented fairly quickly by the people demanding the full return of all their sons and daughters not one of them are fighting for freedoms America or the world's people not one of them and once we demand in sufficient numbers enough is enough it ends sufficient numbers went against Monsanto it ended it cite a number of uh, different things of how the people stand up it ends and rest assured the price of gas in France will go down because the people stood up now unfortunately Mr Macron in France is going to get the flak for that but it was the IMF that made France put those prices up so they take half of it um, so as uh, went off, a bit off track there as for paying it for it there's a rather expensive thing for American people called a military budget and well over half of it and I mean well over half of it is wasted as it stands um, roughly 716 billion uh, this year and like I said over half of that is complete wasted 10% or more of that 716 billion each year can go towards saving our own sons and daughters from the program called military service and it is a program of abuse and mind control well all the benefits of it goes to the psychopaths implementing the program we create jobs like engineering computer learning and other professions that get currently get rolled into military training whereby they are the only viable group to offer that level of training so we need to start to create training sections outside of the military not in it this was a deliberate policy 
where people they deliberately cut off the training programs to the general public so people were forced into the only option of joining the military to again get training in a profession and then subsequently got pushed into military service in some falsely created battlefield this needs to be implemented and quickly the savings could also be put um, for the eight and nine hundred bases dotted around the world that we don't need either that can go into that program just decommission a load of bases and build military hospitals I hope that gets picked up uh, quite a, lot of, a uh, lot of our other solutions that we've done in this show have been picked up and ran with let's hope that one is too <laughs> two items um, um, I think I've pretty much covered that I mentioned earlier about um, people asking me about whether this alt, alt media is good or that one's good or bad or indifferent and uh, one of the issues I need to correct and I'm asking people to understand is how many in the alt media are working for a particular faction there are five of them for those of you who are new to this and we already know that the factions are at war with each other and they are revealing a lot about the other four opposing factions which is great to hear as we get some uh, decent disclosure out of it and so because that person exposes a lot of the cabal or certain factions people are thinking these people are on our side it's a big mistake people are making currently and they are reacting against me in certain situations for pointing out this person or that person works for a faction and Avon Wright's been the classic example but I warned of this when I did the faction show in November of 2015 yes it's three years ago <laughs> and we have to be smarter than that and that is why I did that show to give you all the same opportunity to work out for yourselves who is who and for those who can put two and two together that show exposed who Neil Keenan was working for at that time it, it was written right through the show it provided all the clues for you yourself to work out were provided now one example of this is George Webb he's a Zionist who admitted he's working for Mossad now he will tell you all the juicy gossip and details of the crimes of all the other factions but conveniently leaves one faction out just like Robert David Steele now the tips for you for all of you to work it out for yourselves is which faction they leave out of their disclosures look at which alt media people are connected to each other it means they are all working together as a tag team and more likely than not for one of the factions just because they out certain ones doesn't mean they're working for us they're working for that particular faction and this is becoming a common mistake uh, of people and people are getting a bit pissy with me because I'm saying this one is working for this faction this faction show was for you to work it out it was all laid out there Now people have been asking about the two worlds this next piece I did um, back last year and it not only um, wraps up the 
two worlds. It also involves the four-year loop, which we've referenced earlier in this show. So I thought I would uh, go over this that piece again, and you'll see when it was put out 12 months ago how much of it has uh, developed since. And this will be the final piece tonight. And um, it's also got a bit of intel from them. Some people forget it at certain times. Now, occasionally I get what I call uh, downloads of information. It's either from my higher self or another aspect of my own multi-dimensionality aspect. I have no idea at this point. But this next uh, piece of information that was last year um, comes in two parts that may or not be connected. And as always, I put at that time, time will tell. For thousands of years, our sun has been interfered with and possibly switched out for an alternate version that was not conducive to our life force here. The sun as some may or may not know, is a portal that allows things through and into this system and allows things out to other portal suns, to wherever that destination is, like a gateway. Now, last year we had the solar eclipse, and that triggered some events on a real bigger picture scale. They, of course, have tried to interfere with that process, and um, like everything else they do, it fails. And we have progressed onwards. Now in the past. uh, In November of last year. A crystalline orb. Which is a power pack. That had been missing from our original sun for a long time. Had been removed and held underground. Uh, For how long I'm not sure at this point. And as I understand it. It was recovered and returned to the sun's core. So what can we derive from this is that aspect of the restoration here is now completed and with the new organic sun, prospects for organic life and systems should improve dramatically but there were no timescales forwarded at that time. So the sun and the planets are, are now fully or very close to being fully restored. Now scientists and people on the Discovery Channel think uh, they were at a loss as to why the sun currently isn't doing what they think it should do. A lack of sunspots, solar minimum and maximum now awry, and the 11-year cycle, interesting number, is way off their charts. Why? Because they don't now all realise the composition of our sun has changed and the old paradigm models no longer work. That has become uh, more obvious in the 12 months since. In fact, much of their old paradigm science models will no longer work either, as time will show. Again, that's been borne out in the last 12 months. With the fun sun, sun fully re-established means the way home is now on the horizon, whatever that home may be for each of you. It may also trigger a series of beneficial groups below our feet to help us that has been borne out also so the big question then was um, and most were asking why does it all look like hell in a handbasket well because we haven't chosen to be the change we wish to see is why most think it's outside of their responsibility or outside of their capabilities But here's the kicker and the mind blower. What if all we are seeing is not happening on our world, but theirs? And uh, this is to do with the two worlds. And I uh, first put it forward um, roughly uh, late summer of 2016. Now, initially, some thought it was far-fetched, and that's understandable. But as time has gone on, more and more of the symptoms of the synopsis have been revealing themselves at a rapid pace. Perhaps people are thinking again. Well, the two worlds is now reaching a rapid pace and getting more strange by the day. 
and this is literally two worlds side by side that occasionally interact with each other but it's mainly bred through by the portal people which is the media that are telling you their news in their world not ours that's why it doesn't make sense I mentioned about the separation of the two worlds uh, this was witnessed and subsequent confirms have been received since um, what we are wis witnessing now is the echo of events being played out but it's not real certainly not in their world anyway the old world is buzzing through to this world its negative and psychotic frequencies to overlay into our world and that nothing has changed but everything's changed now the issue is the residual resonance of those malfrequencies still lingers on like last week's curry the curry has gone but the smell remains that's why some people still think there's a veil there's a simulation there's a matrix it it's gone the magnetic field which scientists started telling you a couple of two years ago was breaking down the reason they were telling you is because it was gone that was the matrix it's what held it together and this is symbolic of the residual frequencies that are still around to tune in with your memory set and also due to programming set memory but once you recognize your own knowing and learn to counteract those frequencies by non-consent those frequencies for you will cease to exist and more elements of the real organic world will bleed through into your reality I think most people who listen to this now understand that more 12 months later it's what's played out here are some of the examples we've all seen the images of strange cities appearing on the skyline all witnessed the increase in synchronicities coincidences the Mandela effect all remember now certain people dying only to be told they've died again all have witnessed major events with large casualties and yet very few appear to be actually dead Two, two different events two worlds even the Sandy Hook records for the month of that event showed up as zero deaths or homicides for that county for that month in the FBI database why? because it wasn't in our world strange glitches appearing in front of you increase in orbs out of the corner of your eye for those that linger for two to four seconds buildings go missing when driving one way but reappearing when you drive back a Nazi base full on German Nazi base appeared in the middle of Australia last year and then disappeared and then the key one things phase shifting in and out both objects and people we have false flags being reported by the AI media and the internet and the recorded date wires was, was before the actual events donation pages set up again before the events take place FEMA turned up before 9-11 the FBI turned up before the Mandela Bay incident this is just two examples so where is all this leading to? all the events are not happening here but on the other world and it's being played out like a movie scene in this world disaster drills being turned out as real events and they are actually replays of what happened in the other world whose time is ahead of ours 
which also may explain how the looking glass technology works, who knows, or used to work, it ended in 2012, as the event in one virtual world plays out, they repeat the event into our world to maintain the illusion of non-reality in organic world. In essence, it's a hypnotic suggestion to entrance us into their negative world where the Nazis actually reign supreme. That's why that base appeared. And it requires our consent to participate in their perceptual matrix bubble. Once you agree to it and align with it, it pushes you into their world of illusion. So who are the purveyors of all this? Well, I mentioned earlier about the portal people. Those that operate to align the two worlds for the average folk. These are your news readers. As it's they who deliver to you what they want you to know or believe. And the vast majority, in fact, maybe all of these so-called people may be clones or the generative adver adversarial networks which work to manufacture people cloning facilities now, there was a video put out last year that is supported uh, of this hypothesis also around 12 and 18 months ago someone on the internet did a photo page of many of the, of the news readers around America in fact that was posted again this week <laughs> and remarked how similar they all looked blonde just past shoulder length hair straight with a hair part on the right hand side Look for yourselves. It's all there. They're all reading the same script. Is this cloning synthetic or a computer generated vessel to read out the news? Big question to ask. Now at this time when I wrote this I've mentioned about synthetics and my opinion has slightly changed on this I still think there is an element of synthetic but not all um, and to add to the general uh, mind effery of and reinforce the illusion of that their world synthetics were added into mix to make everything inorganic look like normal to uphold the status quo, making our lives more hectic, chaotic, stressful, filled with angst and frustration. Now, one of the many things that puzzle me with the increase in phones with cameras is why there's hardly anyone meeting any of the so-called famous people and taking a picture. Nobody asked that question. The, the internet, you know, everyone loves taking a picture with famous people. Oh, I was with blah, blah. The internet should be flooded of pictures of the famous in shops, restaurants, theatres, bars, airports and vacation places. And yet hardly anyone sees these people. Why? Well, maybe they're not part of our world either. But they're satanic and cult-like groups and rituals and all kinds of other reports of debauchery, all of which at the time of writing this appears to go unchecked, not no more it doesn't. Over a number of years now we've heard the term ascension bandied about, in fact Mr Wilcock told us he was all ascending on uh, December the 21st 2012, no ifs or, buts about, ifs or buts about it, and yet it never happened, why? Because the perception was we were getting airlifted off the planet by some flavour of the day ET. Ascension's not about going on on a tin craft. It's a change in frequency, mindset and vibration. Well, bear in mind this was back in 2012 and this date was known as minus 2 BC as in two years before the blue chickens, not before Christ. <laughs> um, but what have we've already ascended, but not in ships, 
biospheres or carted off the planet by some archangels but ascended enough in our own consciousness to bring about the return of the organic world and life that humans had long before interference by psychotic AIs, Draco, bug-eyed bastards, greys, Abraxans and the often overlooked and undernamed group were possibly the worst type of skullduggery were the humanoid Aldazani. All of those, like the Gabal here, are control freaks, but also a collection of very weak species as only the weak formed in a collective wish to control others. All of them are frightened of our capabilities and chose to entrap us here within this construct system, so they remain kings or gods or solar beings in their own tiny insecure minds. I remember writing in CV, and I've mentioned this on the show several times, that on January the 1st, 2018 was the end of their game. But what they did do was loop a cheat on us by adding four years up to December 31st, 2016. But in reality, their stall for more time ended in the summer of 2015. Then it was a case of monitoring between then and the end of 16, which I then forecasted an increase in the unravelling. The highlights uh, where many will be exposed. This was back in 2016. Some, Some who are thought to be good are not. Some who are thought to be bad are not either. News will come at us from all angles and much will be disclosed as... We are nearing the back of this year. Two years on, I think that those predictions have been borne out. Uh, Where are we? Last few bits. Essentially, what we've been on is a stair step of awareness across a broad spectrum of fields and I would like to think this show has prepared you all fairly well for it but let's look at the main aspects of life here and how things are changing due to the precipitous rise in awareness the political illusion not just in America but everywhere is collapsing in on itself Politicians being caught out with fraud, corruption, collusion, sex crimes, treason and crimes against humanity. All are now being more exposed than ever. And essentially that field is collapsing in on itself. So much so that many now are starting to see through the illusion and don't vote. And also railing against their politicians in many countries around the world. Particularly France. But the illusion was that politicians are there to look after the country and more importantly its people. The reality is they do neither. And the real reason is we have no organic constitution or real American government is because we, the organic souls, have not stepped into it and reclaimed it yet. And the fix for this is we the people step up and into those roles. Like I said, this was mentioned 12 months ago. Currently we have no candidates, only those provided for us. And the illusion of voting for their candidates will eventually phase out, providing we step up and into those roles. And most importantly, not repeat the mistakes and the ways they did. A new way of government that doesn't create war for profit, in fact works to eliminate war, doesn't sign off people's rights, spend over to society's greed merchants, rapes the country and the people of the wealth, but uses every accountable cent towards providing a better life, not just an existence for all the people. And this was something that was mentioned earlier. Like I said, this piece is from 12 months ago, and we're seeing it all play out religions again like politicians exposed on a massive scale add in their worship of the Draco Lord that is Anu 
and their ritual sacrifice, sexual criminality, child trafficking and their illusionary bubble of religion is it is beneficial to the people. That illusion bubble has clearly been popped to the reality of what it is. A control system, a illusion of your energy in churches largely situated on ley lines for maximum output by getting you to worship their Lord or God and in. I imagine a lot of people when they find that out that they've been worshipping what is essentially a lizard um, will not sit too well with many people. They also worship the fake solar beings as well. This is the real meaning of God, these people. They're not source. Look at the word solar. Given inorganic sun has a mirror effect, sol means sun, and the mirror version of R, you have Ra. Ra, god of the sun, my ass he is. Ra is also known as Marduk. And it's another one of the titles the Anunnaki gave to each other that made them feel so self-important that they should be worshipped by humans who they see as inferior and essentially they have played the role of God not source a fake illusionary version and as said back then it will be a difficult transition phase on this particular subject but as more of the truth reveals as more of the people gain a more spiritual outlook, the desire to seek outside of yourself, which is what religion promotes, will be rendered mute. Given the intel tonight, that ties in rather well. More have desired to seek inside of themselves, not external. And the reality is, which is another meme for this show, people only love God or gods when they have failed to remember their own connection to source. The person who asked, is there a difference between source and God? There's your answer. Final bit. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to ask all to ride the current frequency tension wave that is currently pulling on so many people now. It will pass. But also request you all to hold a good space for you and the rest of this planet over the next three days after today. We need as many people as possible operating in peace and love through these next 72 hours to dampen the effects currently ongoing and prevent something else manifesting. I hope you all can manifest peace within you and manifest peace on a global scale and ensure this week passes without nasty surprises. We are on the brink of some subtle and many not so subtle changes and it's important we get off on the right foot. All is unfolding and progressing nicely along now and we need you all in a good headspace. Others are testing you currently. Just don't play their game. Play your own game of peace and balance. Like I said, we'll probably have another show after that 72 hours has ended on Monday. Stay in peace. Hold your balance. Don't let them get to you. And uh, we will come through with flying colours. 
I hope you've enjoyed the show. This has been The Truth, Honour and Integrity. My name's Thomas Williams. Bye for now.